You're about to find out that you've been taking notes, organizing your life, and planning events entirely wrong. What? Why? Because you haven't been using Notion. I have. You've probably been storing your data in various files, trying to organize it into folders, but Notion, Notion gives you a completely new workspace. Really? Stick around and you'll learn how an idea from the 1960s by information technology pioneer Ted Nelson inspired a feature in Notion. Okay, wait. Let's slow it down for a second. What's Notion? What's Notion? What's Notion? Notion is a tool that allows you to document, lay out, and format anything. From your personal ideas, to your secret goals, to managing and tracking your team projects. Notion is an amazing app because it's a near-perfect blend of customizable and functional, which makes it akin to a canvas where the user is the artist. Notion provides the user with over 40 different blocks available for representation of the user's data in a large number of different ways. Laying out, planning, and organizing their life using blocks, one page at a time. You can download Notion for free by using my link in the description below. Wait, what are pages, I hear you ask? Any block that exists within Notion has to exist within a page, whether it's some simple text from an email that you know you will need later, or a whole database. Now pages can exist within pages, which means that pages are also blocks. This moves Notion away from files and folders to just pages, which adds a lot of fluidity to the way your data can be stored. Pages are the fundamental building block in Notion. Every complex page that you can create in Notion starts as a simple page at first. You can create a new page simply by clicking this button down here or by typing slash page on any existing page to create a nested page. If your hierarchy of pages ever gets too complicated, you can add a breadcrumb to be able to navigate your pages easier. Make sure to add an icon and a cover to really give your page some personality. You can provide links to any image or GIF on the internet or upload your own. Do you have a page that you keep coming back to? Just add it to your favorites so that it'll be at the top of your sidebar. Notion can be used for many different things. To say Notion is a note-taking app would really not be doing it much justice at all. But it's certainly capable of that. Furthermore, those of you who are used to taking notes in a markdown style, Notion supports most of the syntax. And copying and pasting markdown notes carries across the formatting. Do you have a big idea? Simply type slash heading one or hash followed by a space to give yourself a heading. Is your idea not that big? Well, you can always take it down a notch by using Heading 2 or Heading 3. Do you have some really important text that you want to draw attention to? Add a call out, change the icon, and boom! Now this text draws attention to itself. Need some space? Like, whoa, seriously, give me some space! No problem! Add a divider to really separate all the creeps from the normal text. Want to hide everything under a heading? Simply turn it into a toggle heading instead, and toggle away. Oh, and by the way, you can click on most blocks in Notion to reformat it as something else. Are you reading a book? Journaling your thoughts, perhaps? Are you tired of writing quotes in quotation marks? Use the quote block to give it a different look. Are you sick of this invariable look? Do you want to see some action? Well, wazam! Multi-column layout! Simply drag a block next to another block, next to another block, next to another block. Anyway, you get the idea. This can be done with anything to change the way your Notion page looks. Alternatively, type slash columns to see the options below. Now there's no reason for your notes, ideas, and dreams written down in Notion to look as BORING as they do. Notion actually provides a lot of customization within the app, anything from changing the font size and style to text and background color. Does your Notion page seem a little cramped? No problem, simply make the page full width. Don't like the font? No problem, simply choose another, like everywhere else. Size of the font too small? Well, who turned small text on? Change it to a size that you can read. Does this text look boring to you? No? Well, it should. Change the background color. Still boring? How about you try changing the foreground color? Perhaps this whole look just ain't your style. Well, you can try dark mode. Both light mode and dark mode look great in Ocean, and you can easily switch between them with Control shift l Ah, lists. We all need them for various things in our life, whether it be a to-do list for the day, or a recipe that you want to write down or a speech that you're preparing, or perhaps a summary that you're Whatever writing Whatever the up. case, Notion has you covered. Notion also provides you with the ability to make tables, like Word or Google Docs. So if you need to keep track of something, slash table to get yourself a table. No, 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 not that kind of table. Now this, this is a table. Need more rows or columns? Simply click these very intuitive plus buttons, and you'll get your rows and columns. And then just fill in your data. Databases. Databases are used for storing and presenting data. There are many different use cases for them, from storing your favorite movies or plans for your year, to progress boards for your team. 
This enables the user to be more creative and organized and allows teams to use a centralized app for both their creative and organizational needs. Table view can be used to keep your classes organized. Or maybe you want to keep track of which books you're reading. Board view is a representation of your data in Kanban style. This separates your workload into cards with statuses associated with different tasks. Boards like these are often used for project management. Timeline view of a database can be used to help with issue tracking as it displays the dates associated with the issues and can help a project manager keep track of the team's progress and workload. Calendar view lets you easily see how database items connect to certain dates. List view is a simple and minimalistic way of looking at a database. It's ideal for storing notes, articles, and documents that don't need too many properties. Gallery view is the best way to display databases with visual components, like mood boards, office directories, virtual recipe collections, and so on. Synced databases allow you to sync data from other platforms into Notion databases. These include Jira boards and projects, GitHub or GitLab pull requests and issues, or Asana projects and tasks. Every database can be presented using the views we've just covered, and you can always add more views to view your data in a different way. You can also name your views. When adding a view, you can choose a number of different settings, such as showing the title, size of the preview, and how the page will open when a user will click on it. There are also a bunch of other settings, such as grouping. Filters in databases and sorting works similarly to other apps that have these features, like Excel or Google Sheets. Notion gives you a lot of control over the way your data is presented. Notion also allows you to save these filters and sorting for everyone or just for yourself, which is the default. Notion can also be used for team and project management. The views mentioned earlier allow for high flexibility in terms of creating work environments that suit any team's needs. Whether you're into software development, design, marketing, or sales. Whatever your area is, Notion can certainly aid you in becoming more organized and efficient. Notion also provides a bunch of other features that allow for better team communication and integration. For example, you can tag team members in relevant places instead of trying to look through chains of messages or emails. Notion also provides you with the ability to comment on pages. That way people can give feedback on work asynchronously and see what others think at a glance. Do you like Notion so much, but you aren't sure whether this is something you want to use to take notes during your Q3 meeting, right next to your top 10 spring season anime list? No problem! Notion allows you to easily have multiple workspaces along with different accounts. So you can have a personal account, which is for your eyes only, and a work account. Is this still not enough? Are you really that busy that you want to have different workspaces under the same account? Well, you can do that too. Have as many different workspaces for all I care. Anything to help you be more productive. Media. This is something that will be very useful for all the creative individuals that have been missing a centralized place to keep their thoughts or their mood and vision boards. Create mood boards easily. Notion can automatically embed your images using a link or via file upload. Do you have a favorite web page that you like to check every day? Like the weather or the news or flight prices? Just create a homepage so that you don't have to waste time checking these sites by opening your browser every day. Do you have some favorite videos that just make you laugh sometimes and you'd like to store them all in one place? Just embed them and organize them however you like within your Notion pages. What about a favorite song or remix or some audio recordings that's part of something you're working on? You can nicely embed them in Notion pages so they don't get lost. You can use code segments to demonstrate code conventions in a software project, or use it for a more intuitive explanation of code. As a software engineering team, we use this a lot. You can also easily attach files to pages and annotate them. There are lots of applications that integrate nicely with Notion that can enhance your workflow. Whether it will be a document from Google Drive, or a tweet from your favorite online personality, or a gist from GitHub, favorite location from Google Maps. Anyway, here's a complete list of them. So if you want to use a platform that's missing from here, maybe it's in the works. Notion supports rendering graphs using Mermaid, which you can use to display your ideas visually. This is much easier to iterate over than simply using an image. Template buttons allow the user to easily create complex designs within Notion, quite literally with the click of a button, to prevent you from having to spend time copying and pasting and formatting the page to make it look nice. Just make it once and template away. Table of contents is a nice way to provide an overview of the entire document so it's easier to navigate. Block Equation. On any Notion page, you can display beautifully formatted, comprehensive mathematical characters, expressions, and equations, like in LaTeX. This comes in handy for note-taking, technical documentation, homework, or anywhere you need to use math. Synced Block. Are you working with an idea that's constantly changing? Instead of updating all the places where it's mentioned manually, just use a synced block. This is an idea that is largely called Transclusion, from the information technology pioneer Ted Nelson in his hypertext model founded in 1960. 
Transclusion means that part of one thing is included in another and brought from the original. This is what gave rise to this synced blocks feature, text that could live and breathe in multiple places, with any edits reflecting everywhere it's used. Are you ready to make the switch to Notion? Are you hesitating because you're already really organized in a different app or platform? Or maybe you just have a lot of documents to bring together and perhaps you're not exactly psyched for the whole importing of all this data. Well, you may be in luck, since Notion allows for an easy import from supported formats and will handle the bulk of the formatting for you. For example, here's a Google Doc imported into Notion. Now, all of these features might sound overwhelming, but don't worry about having to set everything up yourself. Notion provides hundreds of templates available on their website and within the app. Are you a student that likes to take notes for class on their laptop? Take this template for example. Doesn't it make you want to go to your next class and take some notes? That's what organizational apps should do. Or maybe you're a busy professional that has a lot of meetings to go to. Take this template for example, or this one here. If you have an idea for how you want to use Notion, then chances are there's a template out there to make the process quicker and easier. Now it's possible to do many more things in Notion with additional plugins and workarounds. There are lots of Chrome extensions available and so many embeddable widgets on Option.co that can really personalize and customize your Notion. For example, you can use the Pomodoro Timer widget to keep your study notes and timer in one place without needing to check your phone and getting distracted. Or check out this really cool flip clock that I found. Doesn't that make you just want to stare at the switch of every minute? Huge thank you to Notion for creating this amazing app and sponsoring this video. Without them, note taking, organization, planning wouldn't be as much of a joy as they are and have been over the years of using their app. Go ahead and download Notion and try it out for yourselves using my link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.